Greetings. I'm Georgia Boston Ryan to get to Free Press in Valdosta, Georgia. An author, retired military veteran, community activist, father of three outstanding children, a lover of humanity, a believer in God. This morning I thought I would go live to talk to you about the soldiers and the heroes that God blessed us to have in the black experience. And I thank God for each of these men and women along with the children that sacrificed even up to death to make things better and more enjoyable in the world we live in. I am from a little town of Brooks County, Georgia in the city of Quitman. I went to an all black segregated school. The teachers took hand-me-down books from the white school that they had used, and the white schools got the new books, and they passed the old books down to the black schools. Those black educators took those books, and they gave us a quality education. They gave us an education that when we left the South Georgia areas, we was ready to compete with any white school anywhere in the nation and the world. And so a few weeks ago, I wrote a letter to the Quitman Free Press, thanking those educators after the death of Florence Louise Butts, then Mr. Ira Hicks from Valdosta State University not Valdosta, Fort Valley State University, passed away. Thanking them, I wanted to thank them for the work they did at this all black school. And I wanted the only newspaper in Quitman to publish that to the people in Quitman, Brooks County and surrounding areas but the editor of the Quitman Free Press chose not to publish that letter. Then I sent it to the Valdosta Daily Times editor. They didn't see fit to publish that letter either. I didn't expect them to, to tell you the truth. If you want to read that letter, you can read it on YouTube, Boston GBR. And not only that, but I'm going to continue to read it. I'm going to send it to the Atlanta Journal and Constitution. And I'm going to send it across the nation, whether they publish it or not. Black men, women, and children must stop expecting white folk to do that, do for us that which we must do for ourselves. Thank God for all of these black, edu those black educators at Washington Street High School in Quitman. And thank God for all these black heroes and sheroes. And so now as I close, I want to leave you all with a little bit more about the people and persons that God gives us. Now here's the focus of this video today. This is a writing that I wrote in 1984, called Tribute to an Unknown Soldier. I was inspired to write this writing. It's dedicated to an unknown soldier. The first two years I sold $20,000 worth of this writing. It was in strip form, framed such as this. Jesse Jackson received copies. President Jimmy Carter 
President Clinton, President Reagan, both of the Bushes, and Donald Trump was sent one, but he was the only president that did not respond. I have letters from all the other presidents, but not from President Trump. And that is the truth, because I don't lie. This tribute to the unknown soldier is a writing that everybody needs to read in my most humble opinion. And if you don't read it, you ought to know the soldier that I'm talking about in this writing. Now this book was reformatted. It was reformatted and put in hard book form. You can get a copy at any major or any bookstore. You can order it online. I wrote that in 1984, and I'm gonna give you a little snippet behind it before I close this video out. As I wrote tribute to an unknown soldier, and I hope you all know him, all these are soldiers, people that God sent to us to make us better. Uh-huh, yes. But this is the soldier of soldiers. A little bit of it says, this great soldier was not an electric clock, but on the battlefield, he kept good time. He was not a nuclear bomb, but his power was devastating. He was not the ringleader of Watergate, but he spoke of a heavenly gate. He was not the MX nor a cruise missile, but his love has cruised the world over. He was not sought out by the vampire world, yet his blood was good to the last drop. This brave, outstanding soldier lived as an angel died as a thief and rose to be the mayor of mayors, governor of governors, and that's enough for y'all today. Tribute to an unknown soldier. As I said, I wrote this when I was stationed at Klamath Falls, Oregon. I was called to go out there to help close down Kingsley Air Force Base. I only served there about 11 months to help close that base down. I woke up one morning about 3.30 and the voice that I understand so well said to me, pick up a pen and paper and write what I give unto you. And that's what I did. I sat before a board of bishops and they questioned me on everything I had wrote, written about this soldier. And that board of bishops, when I got down to the last word, they looked at each other and turned and they looked. And the words they said was, that's a masterpiece. That's a masterpiece. I don't take full credit for that. That was revealed. And I remember when I had a store for 14 years, a white man came to my store and never forget him. And he said to me, after reading this, he said, Mr. Rhymes, I didn't know him. He said, I know why you wrote that. I know why God inspired you to write that. He said, because of what you have gone through in this life and you never reveal who he is in the writing. He said, but I know who he is. He said, Ryan, you've been through a lot, haven't you? He said, and you don't talk about people, do you? These were his words. I got up and walked away from him crying. Y'all have a nice day. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. But whatever you do in life, always remember those that God called, chose, and elected to shine the light on a darkened world. So human beings and children can find their way back home. We are just pilgrims passing through here. But one day, we're going to get out of here. You can be the Pope of Rome. 
but you're going to pop out of here. You can be a mathematician, but all your math is going down. Only what you do for God will last. I'm doing this because I love you all just as much. I committed my life to doing the work that, I am, that I'm doing today. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. And above all, let's stop saying God bless so-and-so and so-and-so. Let us as human beings be a blessing to each other. Now put that in your pipe and smoke it. Bye-bye. has the power to break this system and what do you think needs to be done like who needs to be uniting together you know thank you very much you are really nice and you are <laughs> powerful that is a powerful question what, what 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 could bring about that change is as i said if the football games were imp interrupted if these people find a way to not play football until some change come to Valdosta. In fact, I believe that sports perhaps is the only way that real change is going to come here. Uh, I, I, say that. I, I say that because right now we are known around the nation as Title Town USA. Mm -hmm. But we are not only Title Town in football in terms of producing good football players. We are also title town when it comes to unsolved murders and killings, unsolved deaths in the jail. They say they have uh, rats as big as cats in the jail. So perhaps we also have the title for having the biggest rats in any jail. So when they talk about title town, I think that football and that those who benefit from the game, once the games are boycotted, I don't like the word boycotted, but it may have to be done. So a lot of this change gonna have to come through black folks taking on the initiative, along with white right people who wanna see change and foster in change. So the bottom line and bring it home again, the power of breaking this system is in the hand of the people who can show the people in the state of Georgia that we are not back in the 1800s. I'm George Boston Ryans with the Get To Free Press. And today, I want to talk about two cities and counties in South Georgia that very few people will speak about in a way that will educate the American people outside of these two cities and counties. I'm going to talk about Quitman, Georgia, and Brooks County, and Valdosta and Lyons County. A few weeks ago, Florence Louise Butts, a black educator in Washington Street High School base 
and Booker T. Washington Elementary School passed away. And the Quitman Free Press published an obituary column about Miss Butts. I graduated from Washington Street High School and attended Booker T. Washington where Miss Butts taught school. Then it dawned on me the greatness of our black educators and how little recognition is given to them. So I wrote a letter to the editor and I sent the letter to the editor of the Quitman Free Press and I waited a couple of weeks to see if they would publish that letter. Then I published, uh, rather, then I wrote another letter, which is the same identical letter, and I sent it to the Valdosta Daily Times because Valdosta Daily Times is only 18 miles away. And this is where I retired from the armed forces in January of 1991. Neither newspaper published this letter to the editor. As I said, Miss Florence Butts died, and a few days ago, Mr. Ira Hicks died, who was a professor at, Val at uh, Fort Valley State College. I did a video and I posted it on Facebook in the same manner I did for Miss Florence Louise Butts. Neither newspaper published this letter to the editor. As I said, Miss Florence Butts died, and a few days ago, Mr. Ira Hicks died. at, Val at uh, Fort Valley State College. I did a video and I posted it on Facebook in the same manner I did for Miss Florence Louise Butts. Now let me get to the beef of this letter to the editor because too often we have always relied on white people to tell our stories. But in 2020, 2021, Black folks are now coming to the realization due to our former presidents educating black folk that white people could care less about the history of black people. This is why so much news in Brooks County and Lyles County are ignored by newspapers, television, and radio stations. I'm working on 10 books that will educate the public. I'm not doing other people wanted to use my material and I have furnished it to them. And this letter that I wrote, it will be in one of those books. And the name of these editors who rejected this letter or ignored me and didn't even send a courteous reply.